Well, I'm thrilled to have author and inspirational speaker Yvonne Ruquet Akpoveda here to talk about her new book, Change the Change You Want, Change Your Mindset and Change Your Life. It sounds easy, uh, and it, but it makes such a difference, yes, doesn't it? it? <laughs> and I say it sounds easy because it's not in the beginning to switch no, it's how not. we think. No, because How we think is how we think we think. <laughs> yes. But then it turns out you can change how you think. Yes, you can. And Who would have thunk? Because we were born with a certain, within a certain environment and we've been growing up in that environment you know our parents raised us in a certain way we went to school they taught us in a certain way we surround ourselves with people so we have a preconceived mindset or a set mindset so sometimes when you want certain things out of life you have to start to think i need to change my mind in order to get those things you know so there are 101 how to out there how do you do this how do you achieve this but until you change your mindset you're still going to have the same results. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's so true. And so it's great to have a book like this. Why did you want to write this book? Because I would struggled to with my mindset. You know, there were so many things I found I was very successful at. But when it came to even something like losing weight, I struggled with that. But by the time I, when I was able to change my mindset, then I lost about 90 pounds. Holy! <laughs> you know, but it all starts with the mindset. So, so many other things that I've struggled with, once I was able to change my mindset, I began to see things differently and it became much, much easier to achieve those goals. The things we want the most mm -hmm. seem to be the most difficult things to get sometimes. Yeah. We get in our own way. Mm -hmm. uh, we're afraid. It's, so, what I love about your book is, after each chapter, you've got a little section where you make us write stuff down. Yes. Why is it important to write stuff down? So that we can remember, so that it can sink in, because so many times we get that aha moment and we think, oh, I'm going to remember. Well, how many times we just totally forget about it? But once you're able to write it down, then it sticks. And then when the time comes, you remember and you do it. So it's that stickability factor. It's true. There's something more permanent mm -hmm. about putting the pen to the page. Mm -hmm. you can't Even typing it isn't quite as yeah. accurate. You actually have to write it down. Yes. There's lots of opportunity to reinforce the things that we learn mm -hmm. in this book. How do we deal with the holidays? How do we apply the things we're learning in this book when we go back to mom and dad's? <laughs> Because the moment we walk through that door, no matter how successful we are in the rest of our lives, we feel like we're five years old again, don't we? Yes, we do. And all those same dynamics go right back into play. Yes. And I think the important thing is setting the right mindset or setting the intention. So you have to think, okay, what do I want to get out of this holidays? What do I want it to be and how do I want it to look? So the first thing is to picture what you want and visualize what it is you want to get out of the holiday. All right, so, so instead of dreading, oh, it's going to be awful, <laughs> no, mom's going to no, ask no, me no, why no. I'm not not married, blah, 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 uh -huh. it's going to get drunk and knock over the Christmas tree. So instead of thinking of that, say, well, what I want is this. So a you, nice, peaceful time with my family. Exactly. Okay. A nice, stressful time. And then when you, when you set that intention, you start to plan and you think, what are the things that stress me out? Mm. What's going to come up that is going to stress me out? They're going to ask you that question, why aren't you married? Or why didn't you do this? They're going to start telling you about your friends who are married. Or they're going to start telling you, I don't see you enough. Or you're going to get this uncle come up and say something that you don't quite want to hear. So there's so many things. And there's also the fact that so many people want your time. So if you're married, you have to go to your husband's, your partner's place for the holidays, or you have to go for your parents' place for the holidays. So there's going to be so much going on in the holidays. So the important thing is to picture, what do I want for the holiday? Then once you set the intention of what you want for the holiday, then you plan towards it. So take, for instance, um, once you identify all those things that will stress you out, the next thing you have to do is ensure that once you see them come in this direction, mm. you go the other direction. Yeah? <laughs> you just go the other direction. Okay. So once you're able to visualize it, then you plan for it, and then things begin to align more in place. And then just take it in. Just go with the flow. And don't, do, don't allow things stress you out. So if you find something is going to um, stress you out and it, it's right in front of you and you can't avoid it, just breathe in. <laughs> I have a friend whose mother-in-law is horrifically critical. So when she sees her coming, mm -hmm. she should just plan in advance to just go the other way? Uh, and sometimes you're not going to be able to go the other right. way. So what you have to do is just say, just create this barrier where you're going to let it bounce off. Ah. So you already know it's going to happen. You know what she's going to say. You know it's going to happen. Um, you know it's going to happen. So instead of trying to sometimes avoid her, if you know you can't avoid it, just prepare your mind that it's going to happen and I'm not going to let it affect me. And then you make it about them. 
It's, it's not, not a, it's you. Not you. Mm -mm. That's the problem. <laughs> exactly. That, there's freedom in that, isn't there? Oh, totally. Because one of the we get too critical about it. We allow what people are saying to sink into us. And that's where self-talk... And we believe them yes. when they tell us those horrible things. We believe them. Yeah, we ex shouldn't. And I talk about that in my book where we talk about self-talk or what we talk about environment. And we talk about belief, which is, which is something you just mentioned. Once you believe in yourself, you know that what you're doing is right or what you're wearing is right then that's the first step and then you start to create that environment where you have the right people around you and then when you start to see someone trying to tell you something that is negative you just block it out and speak more positive things to yourself in order not to let that come into your being it's so easy to say i hope you can remember <laughs> that in the moment but you work with individuals all the time and people I do, do create new habits, don't they? Yes, they do create new habits. And in my book, I say 21 days to that life it is you want. But it takes more than 21 days because 21 days, you're not going to suddenly form a habit. And I talk about habits there. But the more you do something consistently, the more you become what you're doing. So there are also things like affirmations. I never used to be a believer in affirmations. I would say affirmations and I would roll my eyes. I'm saying, I'm not doing affirmations. But I now found out the more you do certain things, the more you affirm yourself, the more you, the more you start to believe it. And then with consistency, it, it, it comes into being. So now, it's, you can't change other people, but when you change how you think, do you find it does shift the things around you and the people around you in a, oh, in a positive way? For sure. Yeah? I, sometimes you will lose people around you. you will lose <laughs> uh, well, maybe that could be good or bad, right? Yeah, it is the law of attraction. So once you start to change your mindset, for instance, you come into a room, if you have a negative mindset, all you see are the things that are not right about that room. So you have a, you, you're attracting negativity towards you. But once you have a positive mindset, you step into the room, you see the positive things, you attract people who are more positive towards you, and then things begin to happen. So it is really about the law of attraction. So some of those negative people just kind of, I've heard the term, they just vibrate right out of your <laughs> existence. They just kind of go away. Not just vibrate. There might be a few issues along the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they might say, oh, who? they, they might have like to. us when we start to get better, do we? No, no, no. They, they feel it's about them. They start to think, oh, it's about me or, you know, it's against them. But that's where it's important that you continue to have that right mindset where you think, okay, it's about me. It's not about you. And allow people to accept you for who you are. And if they don't want to accept you for who you are, slowly they do shift away. <laughs> and it bothers you less and less because yes. you've begun shifting. And this would work not just for the holidays, but all of the, the practices in this book would be helpful for anything, right? Oh. Career choice, what else? And fantastic as we go into the new year. Because with the new year comes new year resolutions. Mm. You know, what are those goals we said we're going to achieve in 2014 and we're going into 2015 and no. You know, so all those goals from even 2013 and 2012. So this is really about how do you finally make that change and go from good to great? How do you make a difference in your life? So it's fantastic for the new year. And even with this book, what I'm doing is a challenge coming up in January where it's really about 21 days for change, where we get people to start to see how can you change your mindset and change things around you in order to be able to ensure 2015 is great. Great advice. <laughs> Love it. Thank the you, Change you want .net. Go online and get it right now. We'll be right back. Thank you. Really.